welcome back. Or if you're just joining, my name is Maya, and welcome to my channel, Crownly Place, where I'm focused on Hermes scarf style, knot tutorials, and more. Before we get started, let me give a shout out to all the new channel members and special welcome to the new knot connoisseurs and elegant insiders. If you haven't already, be sure to check out the membership options. You obviously don't need one to still enjoy my channel content, such as my scarf reviews and style tips, but there are progressive perks available at each level and some videos that are reserved exclusively for elegant insiders and up, such as my knot tutorials. Check it out. In this video, I'll share some scarves from the Spring-Summer 2024 collection that I've seen, then talk about the designs and what we know about them so far. Let's get started! Grand Manège is a design by longtime Hermès artist Henri Dorigny that originally issued as a 90cm silk twill in 1990. This version, Grand Manège Détail, is more recent, dating from 2018. Now that I think about it, this would have gone quite well with their Forever series, but since this is a more recent iteration, let's just call it a reissue. At any rate, this is a classic Hermes equestrian design that, like another one I'll discuss later in this video, is inspired by the Cadre Noir National Riding School in Saumur, where horses and riders in ceremonial costume perform in the Grand Manège Arena. Not to digress too much, but that venue is the largest indoor arena for riding in Europe and has four stables that can house up to 500 horses. Let me know in the comments if you're interested in learning more about the Cadre Noir and maybe I could do a video on that. Anyways, so far this 70cm silk twill looks to be available in at least five colorways, all of which have contrast hems. <music> This is a 70 centimeter silk muslin design that celebrates a quartet of horses and their riders. The artist, Jean-Louis Sauvat, is not only a painter and sculptor, but also an avid dressage and horse rider himself. He is nicknamed the Horseman Artist, and he skillfully captures their wild and free beauty in this figurative drawing. Sauvat is, in fact, from a long lineage of artists. His great-grandfather was a painter and art critic, well acquainted with the likes of Bourdel, Incaes, Toulouse-Lautrec, and Surat. This clearly influenced his style, which, especially with this design, reminds me of Degas dancers. The muslin is what Hermès used to call in prior years mousseline. It is very lightweight and wearable in warmer weather. And so far, I've seen this in at least four colorways. I would be remiss if I didn't mention the Forever series of scarves also available this season. These are 90 centimeter silk twill reissues of classic designs from past years, unchanged and in what's described as a unique and emblematic color. First here is Couverture et Tenue de Jour Forever by Jacques Udell. I mentioned another 70 cm silk twill design by him the other week. I'll put a link in the upper corner here if you missed that. This design is classic Hermes equestrian, as this artists typically tend to be, focused on the Couverture et Tenue du Jour, or blankets and basically outfit of the day for this fashionable horse set. This one does have a contrast hem on it due to its contrasting border. Next is another classic, this one by renowned animal artist Robert Dallet. Jungle Love Forever has been reissued multiple times in different formats. It depicts two amorous leopards in their natural habitat. In case you're interested, leopards are solitary and territorial creatures. Adult males and females will only come together briefly during mating. And then after that's taken place, they typically go their separate ways. 
the female leopards raise the cubs alone. Now the border on this one looks almost black, but actually it's a very dark blue. Next up is Brie de Gala Forever by Hugo Grigar. The design reflects the first love of a house of saddlers, its attraction to the beautiful, useful, and durable, as well as the enduring legacy of a title whose sounds evoke, as Jean-Louis Dumas once noted, dazzling ceremonial garments. The interlaced harnesses feature pieces from the Emile Hermès collection. Like others in the Forever series, this too has been reissued and reimagined in various sizes and formats over the years. This next one you may recognize as Aperon d'Or Forever by Henri Dorgini. First issued in 1974, it is a skillfully orchestrated composition of leather and metal, loops and circles intertwined in a complex harmony, a rosette in the form of a scarf that has drawn countless Hermes fans literally for decades. It's a classic array of spurs, stirrups, rain hardware, and riding crops with three rings of gold, the curves and straight lines of horse tack used by the Cadre Noir master riders of France's prestigious Saumur Riding School established in the 19th century. This one I found in the men's collection. It's a 100 centimeter cashmere design based on the classic Brandenburg by Cathy Latam, first issued in 1972 and reprised multiple times since, most recently as a double faced 90 centimeter silk 12 version from last season called Brandenburg Fleury. Here it's reimagined by Daisuke Nomura. I am really enjoying the quasi-steampunk treatment of the original concept. And now that I think about it, do you remember his design, Cheval Punk? Many of his recent works have been veering towards classical Hermes, but I do love how he stayed true to his more alternative roots, shall we say, in this one. It's a playful and modern update on Latam's work. This one is available in at least five colorways, all of which are on the more muted side being from the men's side of the house, but they do have contrast hems. Here is a giant silk twill scarf from the women's collection based on a design of the same name from the fall winter 2022 season. That was a 90 centimeter silk twill. And this has also been issued as a 45 centimeter silk twill gavroche. Both of those other formats can still be found on some of the global websites. It showcases this rearing horse showing off its coat of flowers and leaves from the four corners of the world. Now this one I've seen in at least three colorways, all of which have contrast hems. So there you have it, some of the spring-summer 2024 scarves starting to appear on the Hermes websites. Please like and share the video if you enjoyed it, and let me know what you think in the comments. In future episodes, I'll share other scarf reviews, tutorials, and more, so be sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified of new videos. Thanks again for joining me today. Until next time!